Sore nipples might discourage you from breastfeeding, but with education, adjustments, and practice, these issues can be corrected and make breastfeeding enjoyable for you and your baby. Be patient with yourself and your baby, remembering that you're both learning. Look for feeding cues and try to latch your baby on before they get upset and start screaming. Calmly stroke and talk to your baby. Experiment with different positions to find those that work best for you both. Know that it's normal to feel intense burning or stinging for the first 30 to 60 seconds or so of a nursing session for the first two weeks of your baby's life. But if you continue to feel pain past that point, your baby might be latched improperly. Talk with a lactation specialist who can help you determine if an improper latch is contributing to the pain that you're experiencing. Most women do have sore nipples in the beginning. To relieve this discomfort, either express some of your own breast milk or colostrum and rub that into your nipples or use a lanolin cream. Put a small amount on your finger and rub it in well. Use nipple creams that are specifically designed for breastfeeding because they're purified and you don't have to wash them off before your baby's next feeding. You can also use black tea bags. Soak the tea bags, get them very moist and wet, squeeze out the excess water, then place it on your nipple with a nursing pad over it and leave it there for 15 minutes. Take it off and wipe your nipples clean. Dry them off and then put ointment on. Saline soaks work well too. Mix one cup of warm water with one teaspoon of salt and let the salt dissolve into the water. Pour it onto the nursing pad and let it soak in, then put that pad on your nipple and let it sit for about 15 minutes. When you're finished, gently wipe your nipples off, let them air dry, and then you can apply lanolin cream. Comfort gel pads work too. If your nipples are not healing, if they're becoming cracked, scabbed, or bleeding, get help from a lactation consultant. After your baby is done nursing or between nursing sessions, you might notice that your baby likes to passively suck. This is called non-nutritive sucking and babies do it because it brings them comfort. Encourage nutritive sucking, which is when your baby is sucking deeply, drinking, and swallowing. Always be sure to break the suction or seal with your finger before removing the baby from the breast. If you pull your baby off or they pull themselves off from the breast, it can actually cause damage to your breast tissue.